Hi, I'm Dan Altman, founder of North Yard Analytics, and today I'm going to give a brief introduction to soccer analytics. Now, you may have heard about the use of data analysis in sports before. You may have read the book or seen the movie Moneyball, which told you, with some liberties, about how the Oakland A's use statistics to do better in baseball by selecting better players to fit their budget and also making better decisions on the field. Well, we can do the same thing in soccer, and in fact, there are many applications of data analysis in soccer that go beyond just player recruitment and making tactical decisions. We can also use them to, for example, plan the financial future of a professional soccer club or get the most out of our players by ensuring that they're always in tip-top physical condition. Now, there are a couple of myths about soccer analytics, too. One is that it's somehow going to take the magic or the mystique out of the beautiful game. I don't think that's true at all. If anything, all of these decisions that we're talking about, these tactical decisions, player recruitment decisions that are based on data, are probably happening behind the scenes. They're not interfering with the enjoyment by fans of the game at all. Moreover, if teams use data to help make better decisions, then they're probably going to be healthier in the long term. Their clubs are going to be financially stable, and we won't have seasons that are marred by bankruptcies and other problems off the field that can really just get in the way of what we want, which is entertainment and passion. Well, not only do we have this myth about soccer analytics somehow destroying what's fun about the game, but we also have the myth that soccer analytics somehow replaces the traditional methods that teams have used to select players and evaluate them and make decisions on the field. That's not true either. In fact, I think that some of the most powerful applications of soccer analytics are in combination and in concert with those traditional methods. I'll be discussing these and some other great topics ranging from the use of different kinds of data to different methods and algorithms in the next several videos, so I hope you'll join me and hear more about soccer analytics.